Hello people, in this tutorial we are going to learn three useful commands in AutoCAD. Trim, Extend and Mirror. Let's start. Command Trim. In AutoCAD we often need to cut parts of objects we have drawn before. For that we can use the command trim. Let's check out how it works. I'm going to start with a very simple example. We have these lines and I want to erase this segment. I click on the command trim, it's located there. Select both lines, press enter. Then if I drag the pointer over here, the screen shows that this part will be erased. The same happens when I move the pointer to the other segments. I click on this one and you see it disappearing. It's done. To leave the command, press enter or escape. Look to the next example. This time we have three lines. I turn on Trim again, select all the objects and then I can erase any segment between any intersection, as you see. Now, suppose I want to erase all this part of the horizontal line. Turn on Trim. The vertical line on the right I don't need to select, just the other two. Press enter and when I'm going to click on this line, it erases everything from the intersection of the lines I have selected to the right. Maybe for this situation this didn't make a big difference, but look at this case. Here I want to delete all this part of the line. If I select everything, then I need to erase one by one. It takes a long time, so it's better to only select the lines I'm going to use, like this. Of course, I can use Trim not only for lines, it works for other kinds of objects. For example, I want to change this drawing to that one. I activate Trim select everything, press enter and finally click on the parts to erase. Extend. This command is used to extend lines. In the example here, I want to extend this line to intersect the vertical line on the left. I am going to click on the arrow located next to the command trim, then I select Extend. First, I have to select not the line that I want to extend, but the one where the extended lines will connect. So it's this one. Press Enter. Then I select the line to extend. To extend the line to the left, I have to click on the left half in order to work. Look, if I drag the pointer over the right half, nothing happens. I go slowly to the left and after passing the middle, the extension appears again. I click and press enter. In this example, I want to extend all the vertical lines on both sides. I type EX, press ENTER. Select both horizontal lines, press ENTER again. To extend the lines up, I can open a selection area to cover the upper part of all vertical lines. I click, then I do the same for the part below, to extend the lines down. When I finish, I press ENTER to exit the command. Of course, in this situation there is a faster procedement, by opening an area that covers both line sides, that extends both parts in just one step.
mirror. With this command, we can copy objects symmetrically. This is how it looks. Also, when we need to make a symmetrical drawing, we can just draw half of it and then use mirror in order to complete the process without spending time in drawing. Let's see how the command mirror works for these objects. Click on the icon, select everything and press enter. Then the prompt asks me to draw a mirror line. I'm going to insert the first point at a distance of 20 from the objects. I hoof the mouse over this endpoint, move right, type 20 and press enter. I'm going to draw the line vertically and you can see everything reflected as a mirror. I click for the second point. Now, the prompt sentence says, erase source objects. I choose now to keep the original ones. Notice that all lengths are kept, including the distance between the objects and the mirror line. Now check out these considerations about command mirror. It doesn't matter the length of the mirror line, just the direction. As you can see, if I draw a long vertical line, the result is the same, only if I rotate it, the objects are placed differently. To make a symmetrical drawing, I just need to draw half of it, because if I draw a vertical mirror line in this end point, the new mirrored objects connect to the original ones, it's simple. Sometimes I don't want the original objects. In the option Erase Source Objects, I choose Yes. That's the result. Ok, thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black if you haven't done it yet. Just click in the icon that is shown here. Also, if you need online private lessons, you can send me an email to the address that I show you there. So it's everything and see you next time!